This one comes from Anonymous. Maybe oh. they're ashamed of what they're going to ask. I don't know. Uh-oh. Anyway, <laughs> hey, guys, hope all is well. The reason for being... Oh, here, he's going to explain it. The reason for being anonymous is because I don't want to sound like, quote, I got air quotes going, mm-hmm. that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so here's my question problem. I can throw my defenders around 450 to 500 feet, and I ha- and oh, wait, and I am a pretty good putter, but I can't throw a 150-foot upshot to save my life. And I think that will get me over my plateau. I can throw my pure, pure dead straight, but I can't throw the right hand backhand touch hyzer and it costs me strokes. Mm. Even holes that are sub 300 feet that have a ever so slight hyzer line give me trouble. Trouble. What do you all recommend? Just more field work or what? Yeah, I put your defender away. Oh, <laughs> yes. don't even go to the course with it in your bag. I. I kind of started in the same way. I just started learning. I could throw far, and I just wanted to throw far, far. Right, right, right. Just throw far, (laughs) but you didn't know how to golf yet. So I would just take like eight or nine putters or maybe one mid-range, but I prefer putters as a good training tool for your angles. And just go to the course and play the entire round with putters. Throw different angles, throw different shots, and try to shoot par or under. And... Once you can get to the level of your you're trusting your putter angle on or you can maybe squeeze a putter up to three three thirty you're you're just gonna be so much more comfortable putting any disc in your hand and throwing that shot if you can just trust the angles of release and I kind of did the same thing just get rid of the drivers in your bag, go train with slow speed discs that yes. show you your angles and just if if that's your weakness, that's the only thing you should be practicing. Working on. You yeah. don't need to, if you can throw 450, 500 with a defender, you don't need to go practice that. Yeah. That's like, you already have that shot. Yeah. So if you're really struggling on a 300 foot hyzer, you should be at a turf if you're doing field work or in a field only throwing 300 foot hyzers. Don't go and throw every shot in the bag when you're practicing. Just go practice for 20 minutes, but only throw that one shot you're really trying to work on. Yeah, and I want to agree with Dustin um, and just kind of take it a little a step further with throwing slow speed discs. That's the number one thing after I've taught someone how to play a disc golf and they have just their basic drive and their basic putt. Then I ask them to kind of strip their bag down and only throw putters. Mm-hmm. Try to drive putters. Again, flat and straight, and then put it up in the air with a little bit of tilt towards the body for an anhyzer angle. Okay, then put it, tilt it towards the ground away from your body, starting low, throwing high for the hyzer angle. Um, and you don't want to throw just the same putters that you're putting with. Get your get your zero stability ones. Get the get one or two more stable ones. So I'm gonna just give an example. Mm-hmm. I and this isn't a putter. I throw a suspect on a hyzer line, this is the exact disc I want to recommend to you, Anonymous. The suspect (laughs) is your ticket to brainlessly throwing that hyzer. If you rip or throw very hard, rip a suspect, um, you know, flat and straight, it will finish for you. If you give it hyzer, then you get that awesome dramatic angle. And the more and more you throw the suspect, you're going to see like a really slight hyzer to a really dramatic hyzer, but you're not going to see much else. So that would be your hyzer angle shot. Then throw your maybe your putting putter or I would say a deputy or a, even a dagger. Um, throw it up in the air flat and straight. Throw it up in the air with just a little bit of tilt. And you will create those those other two lines. Um, don't touch anything else. I don't throw a lot of mid-ranges. I know how. But my goal is to only on the course usually ever touch a driver and then a putter. If I have to revert to a mid it's it's probably one of my trick shots or get out of trouble shots or it's a shorter hole so I'm driving a mid off the tee but really the whole game of control and upshots comes from throwing putters excellent 